In my previous videos, I show you how to set up a box UGF and a UGF inside a tank and all the steps of how I did. Then I let the tank cycle for a month and a half. So in case you are new here and have missed them, I'll put the links in my description. So feel free to watch them. In this video, I will show you what to do when you buy new streams. Hello friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing great during this summer time. Well, I just received a new package today and some of you guys may already know what inside of it. So is it a live fish inside or something else? What do you guys think? First thing to do, let's unbox this package. I'm very excited to see what inside, just like you guys are watching at home. It's been a while I didn't buy any new stream from different source to add into my current one. I think it's time to add new bloodlines. Okay, first impression. There's some water leak on left corner of this box. Hmm, yeah, just a small detail. What important is inside, not from the outside, right people? Another detail that I need to mention, the white styrofoam box definitely give me a good impression of quality. It shows how they take good care of the shipping. Maybe it's just me, but this is how I see and notice about it. The moment of truth. Let's open it now. Okay, I can notice they use a double back method flip just like myself when I ship. Wow, they are cute. Can you guess what type of streams are they? And this is the second bag, and I'm sure you know what type of streams are they, right? The next step is to acclimate them. In order to do this, I have prepared two Li tubings. They are connecting from my two different stream tank. And underneath, I have two valves in order to adjust the water drop output into two separate pockets. To keep the Li tubings in place, I just use two simple paper clips. Nothing complicated. Now I have to remove the shrimps out of their bag and pour them into each pocket. The fun part is to open the bag which sometimes is not that fun. I already started the siphon. Now all I have to do is to open the valve slowly and let the water drop down into the buckets. I leave it for an hour. Same thing applies for the second stream. And as you can see, there's water inside the first bag. Using the rubber to attach the bag is not a good idea because it's very easy to get the water leaking. And by the way, you can also use a small container instead of the buckets. The reason why I use the buckets is to make sure the water won't spill out my floor and damage it, causing more trouble. Because I will let them acclimate for an hour, and in the meantime, I have other things to do.
the last step I just scoop them using a swim net and release them carefully inside my tank So now they have a new home. Those black and blue Star Galaxy fishbone look amazing. They are still juvenile size and they already have solid black and blue color. Really stand out compared to my current black galaxy fishbone that I have from another source. Their color is not as good if I compare to the current one. And as you can see, they are still in juvenile age. And I would love to see them once they reach to adult size. I feed them with my custom homemade soybean food. And they seem to love it already. And that's, that's awesome. The second type that I presage are pure red line juvenites. They have a dense shell, brilliant red and white coloration, which give them beautiful contrast. I found them very, very attractive. I have to admit, I think they have much better coloration than my regular crystal red shrimps that I have for years. Let's talk about a few common mistakes that I see beginners do when they presage new shrimp. The first common mistake beginners do is they don't acclimate the shrimps. They are in rush, simply put the shrimp right away inside the tank causing them a lot of stress since the water barometer and the temperature are so different from the owner. The second common mistake is that tank is not mature enough. Having a tank running a month or two without having enough biofilm is risky. They could die during the first or two days. The third common mistake is they would get adult size rims instead of juvenile size. As some of you already know, adult shrimp are weaker in terms of environment change. They don't adapt that well compared to juvenile size. How do I know that? Uh, seven years ago, I bought Neo Carina from overseas owner and they were all adult size. Some shrimps were dead on off arrival inside the bag and the rest, even if I have acclimated them, most didn't survive longer than two days or three days inside my tanks. So lesson learned, people. Once again, it depends where you bought the shrimps. Some owner or reseller, they will acclimate a day or two before shipping to you. Some will add cool pack or heat pack, depending the weather condition. They take good care. Now we know the most common mistakes and we try not to make it ourselves. Let's talk about a few other tips what to do when you presage new shrimps. The first tip, you can also acclimate them using a breeding box which does the same thing. I have a few of them but they are already busy for other projects. The second tip, you need to make sure your tank is mature enough. How to know? A major tank has been run for several months and it has biofins and cover with green alga on the glasses. The third tip, you need to use RO water and quality aqua soy that can stabilize the pH. So you need to measure your current pH, GH, zero harness, TDS and temperature and when you presage new shrimps make sure to test the water parameter of what they use inside the shipping bag and try to match with them as much as you can just in case if you don't know about Carina Galaxy Fishbone and other high-end shrimps such as Bois the pH should be 6.0 or below meaning 
For crystal red, pH is between 6.0 to 6.4. The general harness, GH, between 3 to 6. KH is zero always. The temperature, it's around 22 Celsius to 24 Celsius, ideally. The TDS is between 100 to 130. Except tiger shrimp type, they prefer higher TDS around 150 or more and if you're still not sure of how to set up a stream tank to optimize the breeding process i put a link below in my description so make sure to watch it and my last tip is don't get angry or anxious if you don't succeed to keep them alive especially when you just started to get into Caridina shrimps. Think about what you did wrong, learn from your mistake, don't rush things, and try it again later. I just hope you have learned something by watching this video, and maybe I have answered some of your questions. Once again, thanks for watching, and thanks for every one of you who has subscribed to my channel. Until then, I will see you next time. Have a nice day.